I already have a name or title for today's vlog, and that is, look at me, wearing my cap backwards. I think I was 16, not nearly 60, fat. Today's vlog is entitled, Mad Dogs and Fat White Men Go Out in the Midday Sun. It's not technically midday, it's coming up to one o'clock, but it's an absolute bloody scorcher here in Malaysia. At Putri Harbour, this looks ridiculous. All right, at Putri Harbour. And um, the reason we're here in the heat of the day is because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. And uh, if I don't get up off my ass when I actually feel able to or ready to, then I probably will find lots of excuses not to. So, welcome to beautiful Putri Harbour. We've been here before, obviously. It's kind of a popular, but not as popular as it should be, nighttime spot. Um, bars and restaurants down here. Should be a lot more popular than it is. Um, it's not well managed, would be fa safe to say. It's not been well let. There should be, there's whole rows of shops upstairs that need letting and nothing's really been done about it. So as you can see, boats in here, beautiful boats. It's a very calm, warm day. Um, I think we might get some rain, judging by these clouds. I love all the clouds we're getting now. Since this whole COVID thing has begun, it's like the sky has come out to play. Super sky. So anyway, what we're going to do is right in front of us over there, finger, there's the park that we've been to before, but I think you can carry right on around the wall there, around that way, over that way. And I'm going to see how far we can go. Um, Right over that way, behind over there that you can't see, there's another whole load of, there's a whole load of houses which have basically been built on like a, a Venetian, I'm not gonna say Venetian style, that's bullshit, but there's houses basically built on the water so that you can park your bike, boat, bike? Park your boat outside. I don't know how many people live there, if anybody, but, so I don't know how, if we can walk there, I don't think we can, but we're gonna walk around. It's five to one now, I probably need to do at least a good hour's walking to get any, um, steps in. I went out the, the other day I went out, which was when I walked down to the mangrove swamp and back. And how are you doing? Hey! Somebody knows me. This is <laughs> yeah. scary. How are you? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's your name? Um, I'm Wahab. Okay. Uh, I'm Lee. Does <laughs> Lee watch me as well? Huh? No. Throw yeah. Lee in the water and we'll keep you. Oh yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Glad you watched me. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's, it's very yeah. rare I get noticed. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Yeah. It's kind of home ground, let's be honest. Um, my first ever recognition, first time I ever got recognised was in Brunei, which, t no, actually, it was in, it was in Miri, in Sarawak. But the person that recognised me was from Brunei, which was like, ah. Brunei is just right next door to, to Miri, it's just across the border. So he only had to cross the border, but it's like, he recognized me and I was like, huh? So there you go, I've just been recognized again. See, I always felt I was doing this in a vacuum, but obviously the vacuum is spreading a little bit, tiny bit. It's quite weird though, I went to bed last night and I think I had, uh, one seven nine five. I'm trying to get to one thousand eight hundred. Actually, I'm trying to get two thousand five hundred before December, but I don't think that's possible. But I'm trying to get to one thousand eight hundred. I went to bed at one seven nine five and woke up at one seven nine one. <laughs> anyway, so my my videos, by their nature, are all over the place. There's no niche, which makes being a, a successful YouTuber very difficult. As my friend uh, in the UK. FIFA Save My Life has found out, having a niche works. He started up a year after me, within about a month that they were taking me in subs. Subsequently, like a year or more down the road, I'm slowly, slowly catching him up. But I mean, slow is the word. Um, hi. hi, how you doing? These are the boys that keep it all tidy for us. Yes. Make it look worth coming here. Yes. How you doing? Cool. So, people say my life, he started with a niche, flew up ahead of me, 
and um, he sustained his numbers and is slowly growing. Luckily for me, I've had a few videos which have been noticed and suddenly I had a little booms, but it's boom and bust with me. It's like quick growth and then we fade back down again and then quick growth. Oh, look, we've got musical fountains, hang on. Squirrel, that's what I'm like. That's cool. And it's good music as well. We've got a bit of the verve going on. So I can do my walk. I'm not that I've got a camera on me. But come on, this is cool. Oh, actually, this isn't cool because I'm going to have to cut the music out. Bollocks. But let's uh, go and enjoy the beauty of the fountains. I have to probably put some other music on this. So you may not even hear me speaking. Woo! Musical. I don't know if the music's meant to go with the fountains or the music's just here as well. But hey, no music at the moment, which means I can film without a copyright strike. This is fun. Every other time I've been here, these fountains haven't been on, so this is cool. It's not um, Bellagio fountains, but I'll take it jet over there. I don't know if we can see it. I don't know if I'm following it with a camera because I can't see it on the screen, but I can see it in real life. Here we go. Woo! Oh, okay. Come on. Up, 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 up. How cool is that?